Yes, yes, fam. We are back with another video. And fellas, we can talk all day about the entitlement of some of these modern women and how they have lost their damn minds. And they really expect brothers to put up with this foolishness and treat them as if there's something special without giving us anything in return. But when we go through this video, you will not believe what this woman said coming out of her mouth. Without further ado, let's get into it. She sounds like that I deserve chick. That's exactly what this woman sounds like. But I'm going to let you judge for yourself. Okay, I'm about to get ready um, to go out. So let's do a story time. So this is a story just about a previous date that I've had. Um, in the end, I really want to know if I'm wrong for thinking the way that I think. So let me know. Stay tuned, please. Okay, so I get there a little early and I valet. Um, he's like a minute later than me. And I see that he parks across the street instead of choosing to valet. Um, I don't really question it because, you know, to each their own, whatever. And then we go and have our dinner. We end up ordering um, like three courses, appetizer, entree, dessert. We had wine. I was really impressed by his palate. Um, he didn't just stick to like the, the typical things. You know, he was a little adventurous in what he likes to eat. Also, it was a first date too. And he brought me flowers. I really did like that. Um, they were red and white roses. They were pretty, pretty beautiful. So we're getting ready to leave. Um, mind you, we didn't finish all of our food. So we both have leftover food um, and the flowers that he gave me. So we're walking to valet and valet is like, okay, will that be cash or card? And I'm like, card, okay. So the guy literally does not even attempt to take out his card or like reach in his pocket or anything. Mind you, I have flowers in a hand and I have my um, leftover food in the hand too. So not only is he not even attempting to not pay for the valet, he's also like completely unbothered with the fact that my hands are full and I mean, I can't reach into my purse. So literally the valet guy is like, well, somebody got to pay. So he takes my, fl <laughs> he takes my flowers. So I end up um, reaching in my bag and paying for the valet because somebody got to pay for it. Mind you again, while we're having dinner, you know, we're laughing and joking. Everything's going so good, but I'm just so turned off that he didn't even attempt to try to pay for the valet. And I'm really just a little taken back because I don't think I've ever had to pay for my own valet. Um, coming from a date like ever like that's kind of weird and it kind of turned me off so I called my friend afterwards uh when I got in the car and I was on the way home and I was like just kind of explained everything the way I explained everything now and I was like girl like am I tripping that I'm upset that he didn't pay for my valet or like what because this has never happened before so um I don't know are you serious fam and this is the reason why guys say you know what I'm skipping this whole dating thing. It just does not work out in my favor. I am dealing with the most spoiled, entitled women in the history of any country of any time period. These women are unbearable sometimes. So when brothers be like, you know what? I'm just going to look at relationships or, you know, dating as more of a transactional thing. I don't even trip because I understand why guys are doing it. Ladies, if you're watching this video, answer me this. Is this woman out of her damn mind or what? Let's spin it back and I'm going to break it down. Okay, I'm about to get ready um, to go out. So let's do a story time. So this is a story just about a previous date that I've had. Um, in the end, I really want to know if I'm wrong for thinking the way that I think. Now you see, fellas, when she just said she wants to know if she's wrong for thinking the way she thinks. But notice how she smirked in there, how she laughed in it. When women do this, they often know that they're wrong for doing it, but they'll just kind of test the waters to see what you do as a man. Let's keep going. Thank. So let me know. Stay tuned, please. Okay, so I get there a little early and I valet. Um, he's like a minute later than me, and I see that he parks across the street instead of 
choosing to valet. Um, I don't really question it because, you know, to each their own, whatever. To each their own or whatever when describing the parking situation. So she already know that homie parked across the street. She chose the valet. He didn't tell her the valet there. She just made that decision all herself. Let's keep going. And then we go and have our dinner. We end up ordering um, like three courses, appetizer, entree, dessert. We had wine. I was really impressed by his palate. Um, he didn't just stick to like the, the typical things. You know, he was a little adventurous in what he likes to eat. So notice how she's attracted to the gentleman. Otherwise, she would have never went out on a date with him. She's giving him props as far as being at the restaurant, his etiquette, his palate. So he seems to be a well-rounded gentleman that she likes at this point. But she is going to make a decision that is so minuscule and negate the fact of everything that she said positive about this man. Let's keep going. Also, it was a first date, too. And he brought me flowers. I really did like that. Um, they were red and white roses. They were pretty, pretty beautiful. So we're getting ready to leave. Um, mind you, we didn't finish all of our food. So we both have leftover food um, and the flowers that he gave me. So we're walking to valet and valet is like, okay, will that be cash or card? And I'm like, card, okay. So the guy literally does not even attempt to take out his card or like reach in his pocket or anything. My Excuse you? You must be out of your ever loving mind, family. The gentleman brought her flowers on this first date. That is a nice gesture. I have never brought a woman flowers. And after watching this video, I don't think God should be buying women flowers on the first date anyway, because you really don't know this woman at all. So now she's going to enter this negative space over something so minor. The gentleman did not tell her the valet there. He bought her flowers. You know he paid for the meal that included drinks. So he's done everything he needed to do. But notice how she wants to create friction over something so small. Mind you, I have flowers in a hand and I have my um, leftover food in the hand too. So not only is he not even attempting to not pay for the valet, he's also like completely unbothered with the fact that my hands are full. And I mean, I can't reach into my purse. So literally the valet guy is like, well, somebody got to pay. So he takes my flow. <laughs> my flowers right he did so i end up um reaching in my bag and paying for the valet because somebody gotta pay for it mind you again while we're having dinner you know we're laughing and joking everything's going so good but i'm just so turned off that he didn't even attempt to try to pay for the valet and i'm really just a little taken back because i don't think i've ever had to pay for my own valet spoiled behavior this is the reason why you can't reward women until you know them that first date stuff where you're bringing flowers and try to be extra romantic you got to kind of pause that now i like dating personally so i'm a gentleman i'll go about and i'll pay for the date including drinks and everything but a woman like this is going to sit up here and make a mountain out of a molehill we are talking about valet parking how much could that possibly cost twenty dollars maybe maximum but at the end of the day she gonna negate the fact that this man probably spent anywhere from let's go 125 to 200 dollars on the date and she is tripping about a damn 20 dollar valet parking fee or whatever that's how small-minded some of these women are out here but because she has never had to pay for valet before, this is somehow a new experience for her. She's going to sit up here and complain about something so insignificant. Ladies, come on now. Let's just be fair. If you are going to watch this video, please let me know in the comments. Is this woman tripping or what? You ladies have got to start thinking about stuff like this. Um, Coming from a date like ever, like that's kind of weird and it kind of turned me off so i called my friend afterwards uh when i got in the car and i was on the way home and i was like just kind of explained everything the way i explained everything now and i was like girl like am i tripping that i'm upset that he didn't pay for my valet or like what because this has never happened before so um i don't know
So in the end, she ends up calling her bald head friends. You know how we like to poke fun at y'all friends. But see, her friend encourages her bad behavior. So let's kind of go through this in closing. The man probably more than likely picked the restaurant that they went to. She knew that he parked across the street. He did not tell her to park in valet. She chose to do that. He gets there. He's making her laugh, making her feel comfortable, having a great date. He pays for the date. He brings her flowers and she is tripping over some damn valet parking. Unbelievable. And this is the reason why men are starting to say, you know what, on this whole dating thing, I'm good. Fellas, let me know down there in the comments what you guys think. Until next time, choose wisely, but stop rewarding women until you know who they are, because you might find yourself being a gentleman to the wrong type of woman. I'm out. Peace.